In Metabase version 56, we introduced a more flexible way to embed dashboards into your application using script tags. Let me show you Embedded Analytics JS. Let's come up here to settings. We'll go to admin settings and we'll go to embedding. Let's go to the embedding overview. Here you can see our static embedding, our interactive embedding, and now we have this new modular embedding. If we click configure, you can see this is where we have our SDK for React and now our new embedded analytics JS. And our embedded analytics JS is just a lightweight JavaScript library that's built on top of our React SDK. But what's cool is you don't need to be using React to use it. So let's go ahead and enable that and we'll say try it out. And unlike the iframes where you embed all of Metabase, here you can embed components. So maybe you want to embed just a dashboard or a chart or an exploration, you can do that. But let's embed a dashboard, we'll say next, next. And now we have this really cool live preview. So maybe we wanna say allow downloads. You can see here's the download button, maybe under these parameters, we don't wanna show date range. So I can toggle that, shut that off. Maybe you want to update the appearance here. You can do that, show dashboard title. We can hide that, show it. So once we're happy with it, we can say get code. You can see for authentication, if you're just testing locally, you can use this existing Metabase session. Um, if you were using this in production, you'd want to use SSO here. But since I don't have it on this instance, it's grayed out for me. But let's go ahead and copy this code and we'll jump into cursor. I'm going to paste it. And this is just a basic HTML page. So no React, nothing fancy. So we have that. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see we have our dashboard embedded, but maybe we want to actually update this so we can modify the code. So let's jump back in to cursor. And this is probably the easiest to see. So we'll change the background here. Let's update the background and we'll update the text. So once we have that, let's go ahead and save it. Take a look, reload the page, and that should update for us. Looks awesome. So go ahead, check out the docs and try out our new embedded analytics JS. Cheers.